My name is Patrick Scanlon. I'm a postdoctoral prize fellow in economics, history, and politics at Harvard University. I work on the history of slavery and abolition in the British Empire. Well, I came to the project in kind of a roundabout way. Um, I started out working uh, on the history of missionary work, uh, especially on missionary work to sailors in the British Royal Navy. Um, and I had a very ambitious project involving all kinds of imperial locations. Uh, one of which was West Africa, where Britain had a, a, a squadron called the West Africa Squadron that served throughout the 19th century interdicting slave ships. Um, and eventually I sort of narrowed in on Sierra Leone in particular. Um, and as I started to take a look at the kinds of sources that were available to write about it, uh, I realized that there was a lot more to be said about Sierra Leone uh, than about any of the other locations I was looking at. Uh, and that was sort of the the genesis of the, of the thing. I, I use primary sources to try to reconstruct the, the history of a relatively obscure part of the British Empire uh, in a way that will move towards writing a kind of social or cultural history of, of how abolitionism was actually done in, in West Africa. Uh, so my, my interest as a scholar is in actually showing how uh, vague imperial legislation is turned into a series of concrete practices. How you take uh, something like the 1807 Slave Trade Act, which ended the British slave trade, and turn it into uh, a 60-year program to stop slave ships from sailing across the Atlantic. Uh, and I use primary sources to try to get at the fine-grained details of the implementation of, of, of legislation. And I try to use things like uh, pamphlets, things like um, handbills, uh, advertisements for uh, meetings of, of uh, missionary or abolitionist societies to try to get a sense of what was actually being done on the ground in Sierra Leone. Because there, there are archival sources in Sierra Leone, uh, there are archival sources in uh, the United Kingdom, uh, and in fact in, in Chicago and, and, and sort of all around the world related to Sierra Leone in this period, but uh, often pamphlets can, can reveal just as much. Uh, often uh, a missionary meeting would include a speaker coming back from West Africa uh, giving a speech and I, I try to mine those sorts of, of speeches and those sorts of, of documents for details of what actually happened in, in the colony. I mean throughout the 19th century one of the major points of public debate in the British Empire and in, 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 in London was the abolition of slavery in the West Indies and the abolition of the slave trade in West Africa. And uh, in sort of in, and in, in, in a lot of ways that debate was carried out in pamphlets. Uh, pamphlet literature was one of the principal media, uh, media for, for, for public debate, especially in the first half of the 19th century. And so the, the anti-slavery pamphlets uh, comprise hundreds of uh, hundreds of different opinions and hundreds of different contributions to this uh, long-ranging debate in the, in the 19th century in the British Empire. Uh, and one of the, one of the strengths of the, of the anti-slavery pamphlet collection is uh, its density. So especially in the 1820s and the 1830s, there are a lot of pamphlets available and you can follow an argument uh, as it is batted back and forth between uh, supporters of immediate emancipation, supporters of gradual emancipation, uh, West Indian planters who are in favor of, of continuing slavery in the West Indies, um, and, and and you can follow the you can follow the thread of that argument in a very close and very interesting way, uh, and you can also see what kinds of things are sort of left out of historians' accounts of the. Uh, debates surrounding the end of the slave trade and debates surrounding the end of slavery in the British Empire because a lot of stuff got left behind and there were a lot of plans for what might have happened in the West Indies uh, that never got implemented uh, but that are still historically interesting, uh, some of which were hotly debated. Uh, and so the, so, so the pamphlet collection uh, allows me at least to get uh, very important context on what was going on in, in London in particular uh, while I am looking at West Africa.